Hello everyone, this is Pradeep Raj. In today's session, we are going to work on 3D step model of electronic components. So for this, in this session, we will discuss using the example of triple five timer. We will create a triple five timer symbol. We will download triple five timer footprint along with that step model how to connect footprint and step model in the board design we will see so we'll take one by one so i would like to open the triple five timer data sheet before that we are going to understand what is triple five timer data sheet and what is the pinout of each and every component so i, I will share uh, this particular link in the video description so you can go through that and also uh, see the pin out configurations and pin related descriptions here. So, so you can see a triple five timer has got eight different pins. Uh, first pin is ground, second pin is trigger, third one is output, fourth one is reset. So in this four pin, a ground as well as an output pin, these two pins are uh, output pins. Here you can see what are the outputs pin, what are the input pins here. So we can see the ground and output first and third pin are output pins and rest all we have are the input pin so we can create the symbol now so once you finish the symbol if you go down you can see uh, the footprint related dimensions so we're not going to get into the dimensions we can see here uh, this is the footprint creation details the dimensions we have the land pattern example and also we have the solder, pa solder paste examples. So instead of creating the footprint, we would like to download it uh, to make it easier and faster method. So we will download the required footprint. Along with that, we will also download the required 3D step model and we will join it. So first and first, we are going to create the symbol. So first uh, we will create a fresh new uh, project. So we'll go to desktop and I'm gonna create a fresh new folder called project one, we say, Otherwise, we will say triple five project. So inside, we will create a folder called the schematic. We also need a folder called symbol, which we are going to create. We say symbol. We only take one particular symbol, only triple five symbol. We are going to make it. And then we will download the footprint and we will save all the downloaded files into this footprint folder. And then finally, we will be having a PCB that is board file. So these are the four uh, folders we required. First in first, we will create a schematic. So we'll open the design, uh, design entry that is a capture. Just type the capture CIS and then click on the capture. Here we'll choose or get capture the first options and click OK. So based on your uh, license, you will find your uh, softwares on this. So we'll create a fresh new project that is schematic project. We'll go to file, and the new, and then project. So in this small pop-up, we will look location. The first thing is location. We'll click on the location. Uh, and then we'll go to the desktop where I have created the folder called desktop. Open this. So we are creating schematic. Select schematic folder and click on select folder. We'll give the name. So I would like to give the name project name as table 5 and then press enter. So it will open the schematic page. So where we need to create a symbol as well as we need to download the footprints. So here uh, we'll go to page one, double click on schematic and the page one is open. I will set the page one and the size of the page should be uh, millimeters and an A4 sheet. So most of the time I would like to choose A4 sheet only then click on OK. And now come down on the title bar. If you see the title bar, so it is A4 sheet size. If you want to can change the title of this particular sheet, I will change it to triple five. So I'm just only making table five, so I'll more focus on table five. So you can go to the library here, place part. So click on place and part. So you can see so many components we have here in the component list. But if you don't find triple five timer, so we will create the triple five timer. So we'll go to the DSN file. See here, the DSN file has the star mark. That means this particular file is updated but not saved. So you can go to save option click on the save 
and click on as to all options so still if you find again you can go do save option so the star mark will be removed select the dsn file select the dsn file and then go to file new and then click on library so here you see the library is created so just save this particular library so right click on it and click on the save button so i just click on the save button so we will go to the triple five on the desktop we have created the symbol so go to the desktop so go to the triple five so inside that we have a symbol that double click on the symbol so we can give the library so i just give the name called library we can add any number of components or symbols inside this library and then click ok so here on the left side panel we can see inside that library.olb is created so let's right click on it click on the new part i'll give the name as triple five timer so we'll keep it you and now uh, we will we will have a component creation page so if you see your data sheet if you look at into your data sheet on the right side we got four pins on the left side we got four pins in the same fashion same fashion we are going to create the symbol so click on this symbol we'll keep the component here place pin we need a four components i don't want to name it now we'll name it later so most of the pins are input pin so i will choose input pin click ok so pin number one two three four on the other side five six seven eight so right click end mode so eight pins we have it on on the design so i'll just move it to the left side okay fine so we'll just bring back this panel to update the properties of the symbol so i would like to take uh, first pin select the first pin we we know the pin name here in the first pin name we can see the first pin name is ground that is an input in nature if you come down here you can see this is the first pin name uh, the ground and the nature or the proper pin property is output and also the third pin is output so rest all we have an input pins so based on that we are going to work on we are going to update the symbol here of the first pin select the first pin on the right side you can see the properties here pin properties we can see all are the pin properties so we'll click on this name if you want to change the number you can change it shape output input type you can change it and we can add all things so first pin name is ground i'll as add the ground and this is pin number one it is line a line which is a three grid uh, length of the pin and this is an output pin first pin is output click outside the pin number one is updated now go to the second pin so if you want to extend this area just click on any corner and hold it and then drag it so it, you can extend your ic symbol creation so pin number two if you go back go back to your data sheet pin number two is trigger and the pin number two is an input in nature so we can go with input in nature select trigger so you can add complete name or you can add short shortcut name also i'll add complete name pin number two line it is an input pin and click on third one so third one is we'll go back and see the pin number three is the output pin it is of course an output in nature so we we'll write output and pin number three is a line and type should be output click on output click outside so now the pin number four is reset so click on pin number four name should be reset and it is still input click outside so pin number five is uh, control voltage so we say cv is an input pin number six if you see pin number six is threshold and threshold is also an input pin so we can choose threshold pin number six is threshold an input pin pin number seven is discharge select and it is discharge it's also an input pin pin number eight is vcc or v plus it is also an input pin so this is all about pin property i will drag back the pin properties and it is overlapped click and drag that's enough so we can draw the rectangle here go to place choose the rectangle and choose the box here from here to here right click and done so this is all about uh, what we have created is 
an IC. So we can also use the shortcut names here. Instead of trigger, you can use TRI, and instead of output, you can use OP. Instead of discharge threshold, you can reduce the. If you understand the names, that's more than enough. No need to give complete names. So this is one IC. Here on the tab, just right click on it and click on save. And you can right click on it and you can click on close. Yes. Now we have the library here. Inside the library, we have one symbol that is triple five add timer. So go to place here. Uh, we'll continue our schematic. So go to place, click on the part. On the right side, we have a library option. Click on the add library. So now it will ask you where is your location. So go to the desktop. And in the desktop, we have a triple five. And inside the triple five, we have this symbol. Inside the symbol, we have the library. Open the library. So that library will have one item called triple five timer. Double click on the triple five timer, bring it inside the schematic sheet. So if you're on multiple, you can choose multiple. I'll keep one at a time and later we will update it. So we'll take one more just to give the connections between them. Just a dummy connections. It's not our actual connection. I'll just take the dummy connections this way. So and also we can wire it something like this. These are all dummy connections. We don't, it, it doesn't have any meaning. This wiring has no meaning here. Just for uh, 3D purpose only we are taking it. So this circuit is a dummy circuit. So we are more, we are more focusing on a 3D package as well as footprint. So we'll just close it. Okay, that's it. So this is all about two different, uh, two uh, same ICs, that is triple five timer ICs, which the symbol is created. And also we are using that particular symbol in your schematic level. So now we need to update this footprint. So if you go back, uh, right click on the component and click on edit properties. So in the properties section, if you move on to footprint area, we see the footprint area. So the footprint area is blank. So we are not added any kind of footprint to this particular component. That means this component has electrical connectivity, but no physical access. So this page one, it is only electrically high. It is not physically high. So we need to download uh, the particular footprint for triple five timer there are two types of uh, footprints we have that is uh, smd footprint as well as through hole footprints so uh, to download this we will go to snap eda that is one of one of the uh, area or a website where we can download the 3d and also you can go with 3d content element 14 so many or many for many uh, many of the websites are available to download the 3d i would like to choose this uh, snap magic that is snap eda so you have to log in always so i've logged in here click on the search box inside the search box i would like to type triple five timer if you have a proper uh, part number you can choose proper part number also here we are downloading two things one is uh, 2d that is footprints and another one is a 3d package so i would like to choose the smd component we can see here this is smd component and here are there are four options the first option is the data sheet second option is symbol which you have just now we have created the third option is footprint which we are going to download it and use it and the fourth option is 3d model so we can use this and we can download so i'll click on this link so we will it will it will show us the both option that is of symbol as well as footprint symbol which we have already created so according to our requirement we have created you can see all the same pins are available here we can see the trigger we can see the threshold reset discharge control voltage ground output and vcc according to your requirement you can change wherever wherever whichever side you want you can put it either left side you can keep the pins right side you can keep top side bottom side anyway you can keep it but footprint is a physical standard you will not able to change it so it comes with the component dimensions if you put this footprint the footprint will come and sit on this properly so we were going to download this footprint as well as the 3d model here you can see the 3d model so this is the front view side view and this is the top view of the component and this is the bottom view of the component 
so we will download this and we can use it how to map it we will see so we'll go to the symbol and footprint so click on download symbol and footprint make sure which pcb design tool you need these are the pcb design softwares so i would like to choose orchid and allegro and that's it uh, that particular file is downloaded into your downloaded download folder we'll go to the download folder open the download folder here we have the lm 5 uh, the timer i see and zip this and we have the folder so inside the folder if you just look at this the psm file which uh, which is your footprint file the drawing file you can, if you want to edit this footprint you can edit using this drawing file ssm and uh, pad files were required for smd pads and if you have any other shape pads and the finally we have the step model this is your 3d model file so we'll copy this all i'll just copy this all and we have the footprint footprint folder inside the triple five project we have the footprint folder inside the footprint folder we'll paste it okay so now uh, we have the schematic which is electrically low so just right click here go to edit object property so come down to the footprint location so here we need to assign the psm file so we have already copy pasted the footprint related things so this is a psm file i'll just take the name of this ic copy this name uh, don't copy the psm and add it here in the footprint section so now uh, this particular component i'll right click here save it apply right click save and then right click close the ic1 the ic1 which is now physically physical uh, physical footprint is added to this electrical symbol similarly we will also add it to the second one sorry this is right click here click on edit properties so we'll go to the footprint location and in the footprint and we'll paste the footprint name that's name only we need to place apply right click here save then close this so both the component will have now footprint and we need to switch to the pcb to switch to the pcb we need to create a board file first so i would like to save this entire pcb entire schematic first and yes we have the footprint folder which is created inside that is pcb sorry uh, pcb board folder which is created inside inside this we are going to create the board file so to create the board file we'll go to pcb editor 17.4 and here we should use the latest version that is allegro pcb designer click ok okay fine so we'll go to the file here new so we'll browse the location first so it is on the desktop Okay, one drive go to desktop triple five inside the pcb folder open the pcb folder and here we'd like to give the board name triple five dot brd click enter so it asks you this is the location yes that is right pcb inside the pcb we have a triple five dot brd and the drawing type is board click ok So we do have some basic setups we do the basic setups here so on the right side we will all on all the display related things and then the display mode should be on apply ok we will assign uh, the units in millimeters apply and then click ok so we'll go to the user preferences where we need to add paths the library paths we need to add so for the first ever path is the module path so the footprint location we will add we have the footprint location that is simplify timer inside that footprint location we have to choose it and just copy the same thing and we need a pad path so whichever we have it already just delete it and create a new one and then paste it and then finally we need the psm path for all the footprint related related things to be connected right click paste it and then click ok apply then click ok so we will find uh, the working area so we will on this uh, grids you can find the working area this is the entire working area and the black color if you can see that is all freezed area inside this working area we would like to create a board so inside this area we would like to create a board so to adjust that i will change the working area to a4 sheet so change the a4 sheet as a working area and uh, make sure we have at least minus 10 and minus 10 
this is the area where we we have where we have our origin of our sheet okay so go to the text setup here grids you can give this small grid here 0.1 0.1 0.1 here grids click okay and then we will add the shape rectangular so we go to board geometry and design outline so we will place the board like 50 by 50 so 50 by 50 is more than enough 15 to 50 board files so we'll do the round we can take 3 mm so now yes we can put it we'll put it x0 and y50 and this is the extent we can't place it x50 x50 and y sorry x0 and y50 enter okay so small case x0 y50 so it's not taking it okay we will draw it from the origin so put it x0 0 and then ix50 and then y50 and right click done so this way also we can make our footprint keep ready i'll just move the entire thing so in uh, to center i'll make it minus 100 and then minus 100 so that we can zoom it properly yeah so that's it so click on this so we will add two restrictions here we will add the restrictions that is edit z copy shape and uh, package keeping and then route keeping uh, we'll contract it to 1 mm from the board edge uh, similarly that's a uh, package keeping 1 mm from the board edge we'll contract it to 1 mm from the board edge that's all uh, this is all about pcb board yes we need to import the circuit onto this pcb so we'll before that we'll see the 3d board and click on the 3d board so this is how it looks like so if you have a silk screen on top of it it looks like this so we do not have solder mask which is white in color so if you want to change the solder mask color we can change the solder mask color so i'll just keep it design colors and then apply and then click ok so this is your pcb as soon as uh, we add the component we can see component on this particular pcb board so to add the component so our circuit this is just like our source code which is not exported to your PCB. We were going to export it, ex export the logic. Go to PCB and export, or you can go to tools and you can create the netlist. So in the create netlist, we have the Allegro folder. Just click on this. Otherwise, you can browse wherever you want to do it. I'll just browse it here inside the schematic. I'll just keep that schematic folder. Click OK. So the source code is transferred to PCB. So now PCB here, we need to import it. So now we don't find anything on the right side. If you see, we don't find any components. That is triple five timer IC, we don't find it. So we'll go to file here, go to import and import the logic. And then we'll choose the capture. From the capture, we need the logic. The logic is in the side the schematic folder. And then click choose and then click on import. Your logic or your source code is imported and now we can see the two ICs U1 I can place it wherever I want U2 I can place it wherever you want the connections I just make it uh, blank so that we can only see the ICs now if you go back and check the 3d model so if you click on the 3d model so two dummy components we can see but we don't see the 3d step models to, to see the 3d step models inside the footprint we have a 3d step model that is lm right click here copy this and we need to po put it inside the c drive inside the c drive we have the cadence which is, if you installed cadence you'll have cadence under that we will have spb 17.4 and then uh, we need to get into the a share option inside the share we have a local inside the local PCB inside the PCB we need to go to step option click on the step folder open the step folder and paste your 3d model here so remember the name that is LM by CM this one we have to attach it to the footprint so come back 
now go to setup now click on step package mapping and inside the step package mapping click here so this is your symbol or package the dummy package which you have and here in the list in the bottom side list we are going to choose lm triple five cm let's select lm triple five cm you can see here i will just make it overlap click on the overlap we can see this is the ic where it is overlapped now we will use uh, the rotation option here and we'll check it how it looks like so we just make it 90 degree rotation so which is not 90 we don't see make it zero and this 90 which is not the one and they will try with this is not the one and z copy shape keep it 90 which is quite different way y axis make it 90 this is not the one and rotate it from the x axis this is where it sit properly okay so x axis i rotated it to 90 degree it is sitting properly on uh, the board if you hide the board it looks like this and i will go to top and you can see i'll hide the board you can see that particular uh, uh, pcb footprint that is 3d packages exactly placing on top of the footprint solder pads so we'll check it in bottom side we can see properly it is sitting it on top of the board we'll see foot front line step we can see and both we can see okay step color will change Click on the package. Yeah, click on the LM three forty seven ninety degree. That's enough, I think. So we can go with step symbol bottom. Yeah, that is sitting properly on top of the pcb just click on save here and then close it now we'll go to see the 3d footprints click on the 3d footprints now you can see your pcb your components are sitting properly on top of the solder pad so if we will bring it just near to this i'll just keep it here so we can see it properly on the 3d by just click on the 3d and here you can see uh, this particular folder this particular component is exactly sitting on the solder pads you can see the green color these are all solder pads of the particular component that is actually called as footprint and this is a 3d ic ic which is sitting on top of exactly on top of the solder mask even if it point my point as 6 mm difference it makes a lot of issue on the pcb so always make sure that uh, you have to follow all the data uh, da dimension data sheet to achieve the proper placement on the pcb so this is the total overall step we will uh, we will just recall once so we have created the symbol uh, in in our library we have created i triple pipe timer symbol ic and we have used it in our schematic and then we created the pcb board this is the pcb board sorry this is a pcb board and we have imported uh we have imported the circuit from a schematic to pcb board and then uh, we have downloaded uh, the 3d model and attached it to the footprint and now in the 3d section we can see all the uh, and the entire component is properly sitting on top of the solder pad so here in this area we are going to make the soldering section this is the soldering section 
so yeah we can make the proper soldering and then from here we can take the routing part for our electrical connections you can do routing on top of the pcb so this is the whole picture of how do we create a symbol how do we create or download the footprints how do we download the 3d step model and how to connect footprint and step model and how to see the output on 3d mapping so once you have the entire pcb for example once you have entire pcb all the components if you have uh, if you have connected to 3d model 3d mapping model so we can see the entire board uh, before placement before manufacturing before assembly before soldering before testing we can see how our entire pcb looks like in your 3d step model that's it this is all about uh, how do we connect a step model to your four pcb board and uh, how to make uh, that virtual pcb virtual pcb how it looks like before manufacturing so if you have uh, any doubts uh, you can comment uh, on the comment box so we will uh, revert you as as soon as possible if you want to go through uh, the entire course i will uh, share uh, i will share the udemy link on the descriptions go through the udemy link and then you can subscribe and get the uh, most out of it. So thank you, thanks a lot.